In the life of Homo Sopatsima aviation has played a big role. A village near the capital Gaborone was destroyed to accommodate airport expansion. But from the ruins, Patsima went on to conquer the skies as one of Botswana's first military pilots. I can still come back here again and, um, and, and relive the moments, the times that we spent here with my family, looking after cattle, going to school barefoot. It's still a part of me that I can't just uh, leave behind. A grant allowed Patsima to leave a home and study mathematics in Gaborone. She then joined a training program for the first female cadets to become military pilots. Her flying career had taken off. After serving 10 years in the Air Force, the 35-year-old decided to help other young Botswana to achieve their dreams. At an airfield near Gaborone, she takes learners on a tour. Her foundation, Dare to Dream, exposes young people to the aviation industry. Patsima wants others to live the dream of flying. I think it means freedom, it means completeness, it means um, that there is a world out there. There are so many possibilities of being anything in the world. On the airfield, we also meet Resto Wakawena, one of Patsima's first mentees. Both met at a military camp where Wakawena lived with his parents. Patsima's encouragement got him to spread his wings. Uh, to me, yeah, it's the ultimate dream. I met Komoto uh, when I finished my high school and I started be getting inspired to be a pilot. So I kept pushing and she mentored me so that I became a pilot. Today, Wakawena is one of the youngest commercial pilots in Botswana. His success motivated Patsima to leave the military, set up her foundation and help more youngsters. Dare to Dream is based at the Innovation Hub in Gaborone. Here, Patsima and her team train school classes from across Botswana. At first glance, skills may seem to have little to do with flying. But the focus is on an important element of aviation, coding and robotics. You will become confident entrepreneurs and problem solvers. That's why you should learn coding. That's why we want you guys to learn how to code, so that we can come up with solutions. Today, the young boys and girls must build a miniature airplane and program the motor and sensors to go along a runway autonomously. Last year, Dare to Dream trained over 2,000 pupils. There might not be a very huge manufacturing of robotics or aviation in Botswana. But we want to, to prepare these young people for the world so that they can be competitive and be able to work with others around the world who have these opportunities. Captain Patsima has big plans. She wants Botswana to win the International Lego Robotics Challenge where teams of young people across the world compete against each other. And her team looks well on its way.